Good morning. How are you today? How are things? It is Thursday, March the 18th. Thinking Thursday. Uh, my name is Karen and I'm here with Get Moving. Get Moving obviously is here to help people with mobility issues to get some good, solid, serious exercise. So welcome. If you are in that category, if you think, if you think you need or want to get some exercise, if you want to get more active, if you want to get stronger, if you want to get fitter, if you want to, be able to move better, improve your balance, just be able to live life a bit more fuller, you're at the right place. Congratulations. You know you want to be here every Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday morning at 11 o'clock or via the website, the, the, the link is in the description up there somewhere. All done. I, I don't actually know where the description is, but it's in the, in the description somewhere. And the web link is reesefitness.co.uk slash get moving. So you can join us here live. You can do the catch up or via the website. It's entirely up to you. But <laughs> but if you uh, if you have a mobility uh, limitation, if, for example, maybe you are um, have a disability or if you have a chronic medical condition, if you are injured, if you're in rehab, post or pre-surgery, something like that, this can help you get stronger, get fitter, move better, and be ready for the surgery or the event or whatever it is you're doing. That's a spiel over and done with. So don't forget, it is Thinking Thursday today. So Thinking Thursday is where we don't just go through the motions. We actively think about what the move we're doing, how we can make it better for ourselves. Because as you know, every single one of us is kind of unique. We all are living with our own problems, limitations, and conditions. And so there's not going to be any single blanket solution to everything. We kind of have to help ourselves and work things out for ourselves as best we can. And we're going to help each other do that, obviously. But we have to think about it. We have to puzzle it out and try things out and find out what works for us personally. And that's what we're going to do today. All the exercises we're going to do twice once as a benchmark and the second time to do things better we're going to try and change something and experiment and think about how that affects us for better for worse or whatever and that's what we're going to do thinking thursday also the special thinking thursday um i just want to say big happy birthday to brian how are you today so uh the vast majority of you know brian it's his birthday today i'm sure he wants us all to send him uh, happy birthday messages, sing him a song, chuck a cake at him, all that kind of stuff. So if you want, in the comments below, just give a big, massive, huge happy birthday to Brian because he's a top bloke and he deserves to have the best birthday going. So uh, yeah, happy birthday, Brian. You're 21, I think, or something like that. I have no idea. Uh, age is irrelevant to me I, I i i've always got it wrong when i've tried to guess people's ages i've always got it wrong why not let's have a bingo shall we brian's age bingo in the comments below as you say happy birthday to him let us know what you reckon is his age is today this could go horribly wrong but you know so is my life so that's okay eh? so oh i should mention um everybody is going to need your ball i should have mentioned that at the start sorry I've been waving my ball in your front of, front of my face like this. You're going to need your ball today. So you've got 30 seconds to go quickly get your ball. We're going to need it for three of the exercises today. So go get your ball. Um, so these exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody. Whether you're seated or whether you're standing, it makes no difference. I care very little in my life. It's just one of the things I do. Um, I will still work you as hard as I possibly can. And you can still do... 99% of these exercises and 100% with slight modifications. Um, does not matter what we think is stopping us. Again, if we think about things, we can get past these things. We can make the best of these things. So hopefully by now you've got your ball. We're going to need that in a minute. So our first exercise, normal, first couple normal regular ones. We've done them before. Marching on the spot. So let's get myself set up. If we're seated. And when we sat nice and tall, and we're just going to march our legs up and down like so, nice and simple, get things moving. If we're standing, marching on the spot like so, nice and simple, just get things moving. Now, like I said, we're going to do these exercises twice. The first time we're going to set a benchmark. This, that's where you're going to um, assess yourself, see how you're feeling today. Uh, are you stiff? Are you sore? Are you aching? Are you feeling amazing? Whatever. You're going to assess yourself for that first one. Then we're going to change something. You decide what. We're going to change something and we're going to see how that affects the second time we do it. 
does it make it better? Does it make it worse? Does it make it more challenging, easier? Whatever. We're going to see how things go. We're going to think about it, experiment, and come up with our own conclusions, okay? So let's check I've got my timer set. 20 seconds. So marching on the spot, first of all, benchmark time in three, two, one, and off we go, marching away. So like I said, this is just setting the stage now, seeing how you feel. What's your balance like? How much movement have you got? One leg compared to the other? Is one better or one worse? Whatever. We're just going to assess ourselves and see how things are. And there we go. So now we're going to change something. I like to change one of three things. The speed, the size, or the complexity of the move. This one I'm going to make bigger. I'm going to change, personally, you can do something different. I'm going to make this move bigger. I'm going to change the size of the move and see what happens. I want you to think, are you going to make the move bigger or smaller? Faster or slower? Or simpler or more complicated? Change one of those three things. Size, speed, complexity. Think about it. Put the test. See what happens. Are you ready? Round two. Marching on the spot. Three, two, one. Off we go. So like I said, I'm going to make this a bigger move. I'm going to get my knees a little bit higher. And this, straight away, I can feel is using the front half of my legs a lot more. By driving that knee as high as I can. This is a tougher move and uses the front of my legs more time. So that is the format that we're going to follow throughout this morning now. Do it once, assess, think, change something and do it a second time and see what happens. And that way we're going to figure out about ourselves. Like I said, I can give you sort of um, rough guidance but you are going to figure this out for you, okay? Second exercise, shoulder rolls, nice and simple. Seated or standing again, same thing. Roll the shoulders back like so, or if you can, roll them back like so. In three, two, one, off we go. So shoulder rolls or arm rolls, assess yourself. How does this feel? How does one side compare to the other? How's the left compared to the right? Uh, is it tight in any particular part? Is it loose? Is it painful? Is it fine? There we go. Time. Change something. Change its size, change its speed, or change the complexity. I'm going to change the complexity. I'm going to do a backstroke. I'm going to do them alternating. It's going to make it a bit different. You change the same or some indifference is entirely up to you. Think about it in three two, one, off we go. So I'm going to change it by doing a backstroke, alternating. It's just making it a little bit more complicated because I've got to get timing now. And this is, I quite like this, to be honest with you. I like this because this involves a bit more of my body movement as well. It's not just my shoulders. It is my shoulders, but my body moves as well. And time, time, time. And these are the things we're going to find out for ourselves by giving these things a go, by experimenting, okay? Okay, next exercise. Time for your ball. Get your ball, everybody. Everybody, ball and sat down. You need to be sat down on your butt, okay? Grab the ball in between the knees there. All we're gonna do is squeeze the ball, hold it, relax. Squeeze, hold, relax. We're going to use the inner thighs, okay? 20 seconds as a, set, as, a, as a benchmark, and then we're going to change something. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off you go. Squeeze, hold, relax. And I'll repeat. Squeeze, hold, relax. So you want to try and pop the ball. Squeeze it so tight, it's almost going to pop, burst. We're going to use those muscles on the insides of our thighs, the insides of our legs. Time, time, time. Okay, we're going to change something. Change the, the, change the speed, change the size, change the complexity. I'm going to change the speed, so I'm going to push together and hold it for the full 20 seconds. I ain't going to move. I'm just going to keep it squeezing. I have a sneaking feeling this is going to be tough. But, you know, an experiment is worth it, isn't it? Are you ready? Do you know what you're going to do differently? 
in three, two, one. Off we go. Squeeze, hold it. Or do whatever you're going to do. Again, you can change the size, the speed, or the complexity of the move. I'm changing the speed by just doing it super slow, I guess. Squeezing, holding, super slow. And yes, I'm definitely feeling the insides of my thighs working harder. I'm starting to shake just a little bit. And time, time, time. There we go. That's our ball done. We're coming back to that again in a minute. Don't worry, we'll keep it handy. But our next one, twisting, twisty Sarah's. Sat tall or stood tall, it's entirely up to you, I don't mind. Fold your arms, twist one way, and twist the other way. Simple movement. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off you go. Twisting, twisting. Again, this is the assessment stage. How does it feel for you? How much movement have you got? How easy, how hard is it? You're just seeing how your body feels doing this particular move. And time, time, time. Again, we're gonna change something, change the speed, change the size, change the complexity. I'm gonna change the complexity. I am going to reach one arm around as well. Now I've done this before, and I've noticed in the past that also changes the size of it. So I think it's gonna be a good one. But you experiment, change something, think about it. In three, two, one, off we go. So I'm gonna reach with my arm as well. And yep, this adds a complicated element. And also it increases the size of the move. If it, that's what I feel. So you're gonna experiment, you're gonna think about it, figure out what works best for you. And time, time, time. If you want, let us know in the comments below whether you feel the same or not. You might feel the same as me. You might feel something completely different. But that's the fun in finding out, isn't it? Okay. No, I tell a lie. Sorry. Double tap. Okay. Seated. The knee, well, one knee comes up twice. One, two, and then land. One, two, and then land. Okay. A double tap. Standing. You know what to do by now. Uh, balancing, double tap. One, two, and land. One, two, and land. Are you ready in three, two, one? Off you go. And double tap. Just like so. We've got balance working here a lot. We've got muscles in the legs, or muscles in both legs. To be honest. This leg is moving. This leg is stabilizing. A lot of muscle work going on in the, in the legs. A lot of brain and nerve work as well, because we are balancing on one leg. Time. So, experiment. Change or some, change something. Go faster or slower. Go bigger or smaller. Make it more complicated or simpler. Your choice, which. But change something. Me, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go faster. I'm gonna try faster. Here we go. Let's see what happens. In three, two, one. Off we go. So I'm doing it quicker. Ooh. I thought this was going to be easier. And in some ways it is, and other ways it's not. For me, I'm finding this. Because it's quicker and jerkier, I am being knocked off balance a little bit more. I didn't think of that. And <laughs> time, time, time. So we can all learn things by experimenting, by just giving things a try. Randomly going, you know what? I'm going to give this a go and see what happens. Make sure we're safe. Obviously, it goes without saying. But an inquisitive mind is vital. Okay, now it's ball time. So we did this for seated people yesterday. Let's turn you around sideways. A ball crunch. We're aiming to use your belly here. So everybody sat down. Ball on your knees there. Don't let it roll off. Forearms on top of the ball, like so, just leaning on it, like so. And then we're going to fold ourselves forward, we're going to curl ourselves forward, and we're going to try again, crush the ball. We're going to squeeze the ball down, hold it for a sec, and then relax. Now repeat. Squeeze it down, hold it, and relax. And fingers crossed, when you do that, you should hopefully feel your stomach muscles working. That's what we're aiming for. Anyway, first go, assessment in three, two, one, off we go. So forearms, squeeze, hold, 
relax. Squeeze, hold, relax. Now repeat this. See how it goes. You want to really fold forward, head, shoulders, chest, everything, pushing into the ball. Try and pop the ball. And time, time, time. So let us know in the comments below whether you feel it or not, whether it works or not. I know it works my belly. I know that. Let's see if it works yours or not. Now time to change something. Make it faster or slower. Make it bigger or smaller. Make it more complicated. It's your choice which. But we're going to try something different. And give it a go. Me, same as the squeeze, I am going to make it slower. I'm going to push and hold it down for the full 20 seconds. You might do the same. You might do something different. But if you're doing the same, make sure you breathe. Don't hold your breath, okay? Top health and safety tip. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Off you go. So, yep, I am squeezing and holding for the full 20 seconds. So I'm slowing the move down, essentially. But I am definitely breathing. It is tempting to hold your breath, but don't. Keep the breathing in and out. Don't let your head explode. There we go. Because I've seen it happen before. Someone held a breath. Their head poof, exploded. It was, it was messy. It was messy. It was messy. So don't do that. Okay? Breathe. Top tip. Breathe. So hopefully you're getting an experience and you're getting a chance to think about what we're doing, how we can make things better for you personally. It's a very personalized session today. What have we got next? What have we got next? We've got up. Oh, squats. The usual. If we're seated, time to stand up. You're going to stand up, stretch nice and tall. Don't stop hunched over there. Think about being tall and then sitting back down again, okay? Repeating as often as you can for 20 seconds. If we're standing, squats, imaginary chair, sit that bum back and stand tall, okay? 20 seconds worth. Assess how you're doing. In three, two, one, off you go. Sitting and standing. See how it feels. See how easy or how hard it is. See if there's any pain or not. There shouldn't be pain. If there is pain, let us know in the comments below because there's a way to do this. There is a way to do this without pain. Okay, time. Change something. Make it faster or slower. Make it uh, bigger or smaller. Make it more complex or simple. It's up to you. I am going to change the speed. I'm going to make it slower. I'm going to stay down there. I haven't done this one before. Let's find out what happens. Decide what you're going to do different. Think about it. Put it into practice. In three, two, one. Off you go. So I'm going to change the speed by essentially dropping down to a squat. And I'm going to hold it here. My legs are starting to work now. I'm starting to burn by just holding myself in this position. Not letting myself collapse. I'm just holding myself, good balance. I'm definitely feeling my legs were starting to cook just a little bit then. Time, time, time. Well done. That's what I like about this stuff. This experimentation stops me from getting bored. I get bored very easily. But this kind of stuff stops me from getting bored by just experimenting, trying things out. Ha, right then. Everybody sat down. Ball time again. Let's set this up over here so you can see. So we're gonna be sat down. We're gonna have we've got two options really. Foot on top of the ball. Option one, knee bent. Option two, knee straight. I don't mind which one you do. It could be straight, it could be bent. Your choice. Try them. But what we're gonna do is just Again, crush the ball. Push the ball down. We for this to work, we have to really kind of lean into it. If we are seated, it won't really work if we're sort of led back like so. We need to kind of lean into it a bit, okay? Crush the ball, hold it, relax. Crush the ball, hold it, relax. Okay? So that's a uh, bent leg version. Straight leg is exactly the same. There, again. Crush the ball, hold it, relax. Crush the ball, hold it, relax, okay? This is gonna be using the back half of our bums and legs back here, okay? We're gonna do on one side, assess it, and try on the other side. Round two will be on the other side, okay? So, 
leg bent or leg straight, your choice for which. Actually, that could be the thing you could you could swap if you like. I don't mind. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. So get ready for round one. One leg, first of all, in three, two, one. Off you go. Crush, hold, relax. Crush, hold, relax. So we're trying to pop the ball if we can. Use these muscles in the back half of our legs and our bums there to push down and relax. As if we're pumping a tire up or something. Pump, push, 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 and relax. That's the move. And we'll do one more. There we go. Now, think how that felt. I'm going to do the other side and change something. Yeah. I didn't think it was before, but I did now. I'm going to do, I did the bent version then. Now I'm going to do the straight leg version. You do similar, you do different. I don't mind. You're an adult. Think about it yourself. It's okay. There's no wrong answer to this, okay? Just give something a go. Try it out and see what happens. Okay, other leg then. In three, two, one. Off we go. Crushing and relaxing. Now, straight away, this one, for me personally, does not feel as strong as the bent leg version. This one, I can also feel a lot more in the back of my leg and the hamstrings there. That's really tight at the back here. Just by doing that difference in the knee angle there. And relax. Time, time, time. So, move by changing that, we change the exercise. And depending on your limitations, one or other of those may be better or worse for you. I don't know you, I don't know your limitations, so I don't know which would be better for you. However, you can work it out. Try them both, try something different, see what works best for you. Anyway, putting the ball away, what have we got? Fast feet. Okay, we're back to normal now. Last couple of exercises, back to normal. Fast feet. Let me change the timer. 10 seconds worth. There we go. If we're seated, running on the spot. Nice and quick, okay? If we're standing, Running on the spot again. Nice and quick. We're going to do two rounds of 10 seconds each. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Off we go. Moving our feet as quick as we can. And keep them going. Time, time, time. Relax them off, shake them off a little bit. Okay. We're going to change something. Now, this is or these are going to be small, fast moves. Um, I'm going to try a bigger move with this one. I have a feeling this won't work as well, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try a bigger move this time. You decide what you're going to do differently. Go faster or slower, bigger or smaller, simpler or more complicated. Your choice. See what happens for you, okay? Are you ready? Round two in three, two, one. Off we go. So I am making them bigger, and it's definitely slowed. <laughs> it's definitely slowed mine down, which I thought was going to happen by making a bigger move, and also made it a small, a slower move for me. Same thing for you. Something different for you. In the comments below, let us know. And in the final exercise, everyone's favourite, shadow boxing. Cardio time. Let me time ago. There we go. Back to 20 seconds again. Three rounds of 20 seconds. Seated or standing. Punching. And getting out of breath. In three, two, one. Off you go. So whether you're seated, whether you're standing, makes no difference. Punching high or punching low. Punching around, up, down. Just get stuck in and get out of breath. Time, time, time. So whether your seats are standing, same thing, okay? Round two, maybe a bit faster. In three, two, one, off we go. So yes, assess how that last round was and do something different now. Your goal is to get out of breath, to do whatever it takes to get you more out of breath. Faster or slower, bigger or smaller, time, time, time. Simpler or more complicated, makes no matter to me. Experiment, 
find out what gets you out of breath most. One more round. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Away we go. Big, fast, powerful, aggressive moves. Work hard. Get your heart rate up. Get your breathing up. Get your temperature up. And time, time, time. I got my temperature up. Feeling nice and warm now. Hat is off. I think my fleece could actually come off, really. But that is it. Well done. That is Thinking Thursday. Thank you very much. Bloody well done. So, especially bloody well done, birthday boy Brian. Ooh, that's worked out well, isn't it? Birthday boy Brian, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Brian. Uh, I'm sure from everyone here, everyone you know, everyone you don't know, everyone all around the world, in the comments below, wish him a big bloody happy birthday. He's a top, top bloke. Uh, but yeah, that's Thinking Thursday. Going through the motions is okay, but if we want to make the most of it, we got to do a lot of thinking. We've got to work stuff out. We've got to work out what our limitations are and how to work around them, because we can. We really can work around our limitations. Um, we can do it. I've seen people do it. I've done it when I was injured in the past. I've seen people do it in the classes. We got this. It does take effort, it does take time, it does take thinking, but we can do it. And bloody hell, it's worth it, it really is. Every Thursday, Thinking Thursday, tomorrow is Fitness Friday. We're gonna get you out of breath. Um, I've kind of noticed I go a little bit weird on a Friday. I think I get a bit overexcited. It's the end of the week, I get a bit, Whoa! and so if you wanna see me making a complete tit of myself, ah, join us again, 11 o'clock tomorrow, and I have a horrible feeling I will probably get too excited, my mum will be embarrassed of me. But she is anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's nothing new there. She's, she's used to that. That's okay. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Uh, it's really good having you here. It's really good being horrible to you like this. I, I look forward to it. It's really, it's, uh, I enjoy it anyway. I hope you do too. But we'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's it. I can't think of anything else to say. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Brian, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.